This is so cool. We met this guy, Henry, who had this very, very cool little dog who just was crazy about his little ball. The dog was a Chihuini, half Chihuahua, half Dachshund. And uh, we spied him the next night, and he was digging holes in the sand, and a big trench, and um, he built this amazing ship and uh, he embedded those, uh, those pieces of wood in the sand such that they could withstand a high tide, which we had last night. The water was way over where that was. And he came out this morning and he, and he put those ropes on there. And, uh, wow, check this out. That is a real work of art, I think. I, told, I shook his hand last night when we were out on a beach walk. We came up to him doing this and I said, you are doing something very cool here. It was about 10 or 11 at night and he was still working on it. I think the ropes were in addition this morning. Wow. Here's the bow. I gotta say, I so respect this. I have done things very similar to this, but not quite as large scale. But I have been out on the beach and gotten, gotten a wild hare to do something just like this. What's that, Joel? Well, if you just want to, uh, like you just put it in just kind of the place where like the, you know, this, um, you know, the flatter up here. Yeah, yeah, look at, I mean, oh, look at gosh. the angle through the, I mean, I'm gonna get back a little ways. Yeah, any lower, I mean, that stuff might be easily more washed away, but here it seems like it's going to be more likely yeah, to Yeah, yeah, see, it's now. almost like, it looks at, like the boat here is at the crest of a wave. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but to the right of that prow there, or bow, it goes down to the left, um, to the right. So it looks like it's just at the top of a wave about to go over. Wow. That is, that is impressive. That is a work of art, my friends, at least in my opinion. Very, very cool. If it wasn't for obsessive nuts like this, the world would not be what it is. Because I myself am one of them. <laughs> I'm gonna go on board. You wanna go on board? I'm on board right now. Here's the mast. This is the main mast right here. Look at this. He's got, oh man, he's got, he's got some real bolstering going on here. And then here's the, here's the prow, or the bow, prow, whatever. Looking out at the ocean, as usual, one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Low tide right now, and of course, hardly anybody here. Amazing. Beautiful place. Face rock. So this is uh, most impressive. I'm turning around now. Inside the boat. Just the way they taper down like that. Very, very nice. And I'm gonna walk out the back of the boat left the boat, get back far enough to get the whole boat in there, damn, this thing is freaking big, look at that, very, very cool, yeah, as soon as this, as soon as we met this guy, he, his little dog strolled up to us and we started playing with the dog, and as soon as he walked up and said hi, I, I, I just thought, this guy is a kindred spirit. Little did I know how kindred he actually was, that he would build this amazing sculpture, which will stand the test of time for at least a few days. I told him, uh, Life is nothing but impermanence and change, and thank you for making that beautifully obvious.
Ah, lovely. All right, signing out from Bandon, Oregon, July 2014.